All right, now let's set up your new iPage hosting account. The goal here is going to be to get your website up quickly and easily. So let's get started. I'm going to give you a quick overview first. Obviously, I'm going to go through the sign-up process, but it's ridiculously easy and there's almost no reason to cover it, except that I want to show you some stuff that could save you some money. So uh, we're going to go through options to choose when setting up your account and which upgrades you don't need, and I'm sure about that, which upgrades, uh, you know, one or two that you might be able to use and you might need, and then some special tips for you after you sign up. So the result, your site's up fast and easy. So let's get started. Just click the button below to visit iPage, and uh, we'll go from there. So you probably got a great domain name in mind as you went through our exercise on how to choose a great domain name over at iPageTraining.com. So we're going to go ahead and click sign up now and proceed to the registration form. And here where it says select your domain, uh, in my case I'm going to do transfer an existing domain. And one note there, you don't have to transfer it. All you got to do is change your name servers to point to ns1.ipage.com and ns2.ipage.com. But don't even feel like you have to remember that right now because I'm going to show you all of that later. It's going to be super easy. So for, um, I mean, probably for your example, you're going to uh, want to register a new domain, which is free uh, with all their plans right now, which is awesome. And then um, in my case, this time I'm going to do ipagetrainingdemo.com. I registered that over at the registrar I have a reseller account at it called Enom. Uh, don't bother with them unless you got a reseller account. That's all I gotta say. Because I found out the domains cost like thirty something dollars for the public, and that's ridiculous. You should only pay around ten bucks for a domain, or free, like it is with iPage. So let's click continue. All right, as we can see, this is step two. Uh, entering billing information. I'm going to go ahead and pause that and enter mine and if I have to I'll blur it out later so nobody can see my secret stuff. Um, let's see, anything to note on this page? I don't think so. It just says ipagetrainingdemo.com will be live on iPage in just a few minutes and so let's make that happen. I'll see you in a second after I fill this out. Oh wait, um, yeah, actually, they just lowered their price a little bit. That's cool. Used to be five fifty a month for twelve months, and then four fifty for twenty four or thirty six months. Um, now it's just four fifty for twelve months, and four twenty five, a little bit less, for twenty four and thirty six months. But one thing, um, you know, that's cool and all, and I'm all, I'm all for saving money, you know, on this four twenty five for the the twenty four and thirty six months, but. I just, in my personal opinion, I don't see any reason to, to get three years of hosting in advance, you know? Because you never know what's going to happen. Your site could start making enough money to get dedicated hosting or VPS hosting, and if you need it, you know, like if you're doing, you know, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 visitors a day or something, that's a lot of people coming to your site. You might, you know, if you're making enough money, you should probably upgrade to, uh, to a dedicated hosting or something so that you can be sure um, that it's delivering it at the maximum speed. Shared hosting like this, uh, iPage is one of the fastest shared hosting companies around, but shared hosting is what it is. And it's designed to help people start their first website or start their first few websites, get that off the ground, and grow it into something that you know you can scale bigger. So. Um, in my mind, a good investment would be one year or two years. Me personally, I just tend to stick with one year. So um, with that said, uh, the money back guarantee is any time. So like, let's say you get 36 months and <laughs> for some reason you want to buy three years. Uh, let's do two years, okay? Um, let's say you got two years of hosting and then uh, after one and a half years, you suddenly, you know, you you get all this press exposure and stuff, and you start getting t thousands of visitors to your site, and you start making a lot of money from it, whatever, and um, it's time to upgrade. So you decide you're going to move your site to um, a dedicated hosting company or VPS or cloud or whatever, and you want to get a refund for the remainder of your iPage hosting that you paid for. That's no problem. All you got to do is hit them up, give them a call or email them, and they'll give you 
you know the amount back that you haven't used yet so uh, whatever amount let's say uh, out of the 24 months you used oh my my calendar math is bad so let's say you used 18 months out of the 24 okay uh, they would give you six months worth of your money back so it's just there's nothing to worry about so that's something I really like about them and it's easy to to talk to them and and uh, deal with the billing department too so and also there's the marketing credits it's cool stuff um, I don't really care about any of it except for the Facebook advertising and Google advertising credits because those are my two favorite platforms to advertise on and we're going to be doing a lot of um, uh, training and stuff on how to use Facebook ads and Google AdWords to um, boost the traffic to your site deliver sales and stuff like that because uh, those are my two favorites they also have the best traffic Instant activation and setup fee you see right here. That's pretty standard stuff, but I mean, they got to put that in there in case people wonder. And um, finally here, prevent identity theft and secure your data. You only really need that if it's going to be like you're taking credit card payments. Like, you know, you want you, you <laughs> basically if you're taking credit card payments. OK, so if you're not, you can go ahead and uncheck that. And if you do plan on taking payments, you probably need that because that's an SSL certificate. So, uh, I mean, feel free to look at this other stuff. You're welcome to add it to your card if you want. But my personal experience and my personal opinion is you don't need any of it except for automate your site backup. Yeah, I learned the hard way <laughs> just from messing up my sites and not having a backup because I was like, well, I, I don't need it yet. I'll just get it sometime. So I definitely recommend this. Um, you know the automated site backup so uh, I got two years um, let's say my my style is to get one year so total is gonna be 66.95 and if you got one year and you got the automated site backup so anyway let's go ahead and click checkout and proceed so since I value your time I'm gonna skip the order confirmation page and we're gonna go straight to the next video with the control panel and uh, getting your website started but I do want you to know that you'll receive an email from my page with your username and password and all the account information that you need to uh, manage your account uh, billing and just you know keep it for your records so that's all taken care of and let's move on to the next step see you there